easy is what we're going to try to do. I have an overlay here. This is, let's look at one. So that's the, uh, the planner box. There's column. There's one, two, and there's a third column right there. There's a column here and I believe a column here. Now, because of the angle and, and the lens um, issue of the, of the camera that videotaped it, video that recorded it, I can only do part uh, an overlay that can nail some of it, but not all of it, because I'm taking a one-dimensional scaled model and trying to put it over something that doesn't scale properly, and that is a, a lens, a camera lens. So look at the box right here, and I'll pull it. I'll pull it in full, and you see there's a the planner box. There's a the parking spot. You can see how much it's off by because it's going to be in the car. There's a column and column, but let's see if we can do that back out. And that's roughly where the where the right around where the column is. You got to move this line over a bit. This would have to go up, but it doesn't work that way. I can't get the angle. I can't rotate this angle to to look any better than that. So I'm going to use the outline of it. So there's the box. Let's look at that again. Out and in. There's the box. Now I can raise it up a little bit, but I don't want to because I want you to take note of the plan planner box here. I'll bring it out. Planner box. These are the steps down from their property 111. There's another planner box there, but let's look at this planner box. Then that is a drain. It's, it's it's very big. Let's be very clear on this. Those drain that drain that I've pointed to in previous videos also. That was for his future drains. Those turns out those are not the exact location of the drain. Um, their future drains inside the planter box. So I pull back and lo and behold there's the planter box. Planter box is not fractured. The planter box has a column internal to it aligned with this. So it's somewhere about right about there is where the middle of that planter box is the is the is the other column. It looks like it's fractured right about there. If you can flip it back around, it looks like it's well right about there. There is, let's look at this this return, this uh, deck, the upper deck, uh, planter box, upper deck and planter box. So it's 12 foot 9 elevation here. There's the planter box. It turns and goes back to the inside um, patio. Looks like it, per this drawing, and this is the engineer's detail, the one that just did the report. So it ends at the at the uh, K, uh, K column, K, K9. Okay, so as I zoom in and out, I'm going to fix that a little bit because this is this is K9 right there. So now I'll move it. I'll get us kind of close, and then I'll pull it back over a little bit to it. Now let's reposition on that. And the steps, let's take a look at the steps now. I mean, the uh, planter box. And it looks like it's about lining up pretty good um, with that little broken return that I said. So it looks like this part we see that's missing here, that little return, is the column came down and, and smashed this part of the deck and shattered it in the brick, the block would lay on the deck. So we're looking at the block right there from that, I believe. And the shattering piece is this piece here. This piece will be determined. La 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 la. And now let's go back to the planter box. Again, I can't. I can get as close. And you see it shifted over a bit once I lined that up. So I can I can try to play with these and move them over. Let's see. So, But they'll never line up again because this lens of the... Uh, they'll never line up perfectly. See how, close, how much I'm going to always be off something. Because I can't um, do that. So let's try width for a second here. So let me try 18. And let's find my, co my column again. Right about, ooh, bag time. Right about there. And now you see I lost my, I lost it there now. So I'm never going to be able to get it just all of them line up. This took me forever to find this um, camera angle, pausing it, that would give me the closest identifying. You can see I've got the drain now inside the planter box. I have the drain pretty close to where this planter box would present 
right in front of the column. And that would be the, the, the dot and then the columns right there. That would that line up with why that um, column is on top of that column, the lower deck column. So that, that's pretty close. I mean, that's pretty darn close. Remember that, that, that one on the deck has been rotated a bit, that the other column is right there. It doesn't mean that, because I'm off a slight bit, but it's pretty darn close to where it would be. Don't get confused by the orientation. Let me look at that. Yeah, that, that's about right. So this would be somewhere about, somewhere about, you know, somewhere in this vicinity here would be, be, be our L and M. And I'd, I'd be pretty happy with that being L and M right about. So right about here. Now there is another way I triangulated it, and it's coming back to there each time out. Right there, very clearly. That's your one. That's your uh, K, your K column, and the uh, it's not rotated apparently or anything else of that nature. Apparent. There again is the, I think right through there. And again, you can't just do a line. It converges. It doesn't work. Um, cross these heads. You can attempt to do it, and then you should wind up under here, right? Cross the heads. To put us right underneath this deck. And it's just a little bit of converging and right across the deck, right across the columns. Put us right about underneath the deck where the other column, where it would make sense, right? The elevations. Well, I'm going to go down the line with this for you. This is going to be very interesting the date in here. These hooks are not in the drawing. This is inside the building. This is the, uh, see the roof element. So this is the condo the uh, penthouse, and the hooks are inside the building. There's the exterior wall. Here are the hooks. Here is a straightened out hook. This, gonna, this is telling because I talked to you about that in the previous one. Here's a, a previous images with the video of the channel with the, uh, by the car where I made it look almost purple. Where well, I said those hooks could have been straightened out. because This is what they look like. They get another slight bent return on them, so they look like that and don't have that extra bend there. They just won't be 90 straight and then 90. They'll look like, they'll present like a 90, but they'll have a slight bend in the neck right there, if you will. Back of the neck. And there's a large one there, but the hooks are here. They go over significantly, a um, significant amount. So they, they, there was a, a structural detail change, or they misunderstood the intentions of the hooks. They obviously worked here as an anchor to keep this overhang. I'm wondering why this is overhanging so well, and that's because they got hooks in them. They're like anchors tied back. And that explains that. Now that would be about, I don't know when the, the contractor walked, but maybe the new contractor did this detail. It would be nice to see up here if the hooks are back inside here. But what we do notice is that, remember they said they put an insulated board up there, etc. Looks like they put a insulated board up there that I'm looking at, a piece of steel or something. Yeah, it might be steel. Yeah, there's a hook right there. So that's a piece of steel. So there's your concrete uh, roof deck. There's your insulated board and your hot, you built up. And it doesn't look like that much. You know, that's really not that bad. The other one is of noteworthiness is this, the spacing, this will help you with your spacing. You didn't, you know, the room length and you count each one of these voids, you divide it by the room length. And now, you know, the rebar this direction, uh, the other direction, there is reinforcement. It appears to be high in there. I don't know if it's, it's spacing. That one's not easily determined um, can, because that material's gone. But there's many images of two directional steel on these floors that I found. This just shows there's the ramp, and there's the our face uh, K L and M. K L and M. This is taken from uh, drone or satellite. 
and you can see the uh, shadow showing the, the height of the columns. Um, the, this, this appears to be a taller column, these two about the same height. Uh, that one um, different, a little slightly different. That's K, L, and M. But this is after they tore it up, and I think that's what we're looking at. Inspection holes right here, apparently. There's the flower pot again, flower planter. Um, ending this content, I'm going to go back to this is what it was important for you to get. Is that there's your planter box. Okay, we'll get back to this.